So anamorphic lenses are one of my favorite add-ons for GoPro action cameras. I love that unique look that an anamorphic lens can give to GoPro footage. Using an anamorphic lens on the GoPro definitely makes the footage have more of a cinematic style to it. And there are a couple different reasons for that. The first is it's extra wide resolution. You technically can export it on a 21 by nine timeline, or you can de-squeeze it and have it with the black bars on the top and the bottom. In addition, that footage has a unique look because the pixel shape in it is more of a oval diamond shape, which looks a little bit different. It's not necessarily something you can detect and feel with the human eye, but it's there. The mind sees the footage differently. In addition, you also can get those neat horizontal lens flares. Those lens flares are kind of a bright blue look to them and they come out horizontally a long way. When you're filming something like the sun, the moon, or lights at nighttime in a city, it's pretty cool. So some of you recently had asked me what I thought about this Neewer anamorphic lens. This Neewer anamorphic lens says that it's an upgraded version and I actually had not tried it out yet. I've used a competitor's lens on my GoPro, but I had not tested this one yet. So I got one of these and I tested it out with my GoPro Hero 11. So for this video today, I'm gonna to tell you what I liked and didn't like about this lens and how it compares to the competitor. That way, if you're looking at an anamorphic lens, this might help guide your decision a little bit more. And by the way, if you're looking for the best settings to use when using an anamorphic lens in your GoPro, check out my video above. In that video, I go through all of the settings that work and do not work when using your anamorphic lens with a GoPro. I won't go through all of those again today because they're already outlined really well in that video, but definitely check it out. It'll be very helpful. It'll save you a lot of time with this and you'll get the best possible footage. So here are the things I like about the newer anamorphic lens. First of all, it has this nice little pouch that it comes in. It's got the zippers here and it opens up here. It's got a lens cleaning cloth here, which is great to clean off the lens with it. The lens does have the uh, rubber cap on it. So that comes off here. And I'm gonna pop this on the GoPro. So we're gonna pop it on here. It pops on easy. I feel like it's a little bit easier to attach than the competing lens. I don't know why that is. It's probably with how it's designed here. The other one wasn't bad, but this one seems to lock into place a little bit easier. This is what it looks like when it's on the GoPro. So I did a bunch of filming with this anamorphic lens on the Hero 11 Black yesterday. And I took a look extensively through that footage and here's some observations. First of all, you do want to use all of the same settings that I recommend with the other anamorphic lens. You don't want to change anything except one setting. This anamorphic lens does say that it's the 1.33 times. And what matters with that is that is the measurement you need when de-squeezing the footage. So there is a setting in Premiere Pro and Final Cut that makes it really easy to de-squeeze this footage. And the nice thing about this lens is it does seem to actually be the 1.33. Now the other anamorphic lens that I've tested out, it says it's 1.33, Several of you have remarked that 1.20 works better for you with that. And when I tried that for the de-squeeze setting with the other one, 1.20 was best. That's what made the objects in the footage look most natural, the way they're supposed to look. But with this one, the 1.33 does look best. I tried the 1.20 and it actually made it too flat, but the 1.33 was excellent. So I would say that is one big pro to the Neewer one. It says it's 1.33x, and it actually is 1.33x. The other observation is with the lens flares, those are blue in color on here. With the other anamorphic lens, they were more of a purple color, but I actually like the blue a little bit better. There's nothing wrong with the purple, but I like the blue and how it looks a little bit better with this lens. The third big thing that I noticed with this lens is there's less distortion on the edges of the frame. Now it's to be expected there will be some distortion on the extreme left and right side of what you're shooting. But with this one, it's a little bit sharper there. It doesn't get as fuzzy until you get to the very, very far out edge. And even there, it's not bad. With the other anamorphic lens that I tried out, 
there's a lot more distortion and fuzziness at the edge. It loses a lot of its sharpness quickly there. But the frame overall looks better with this lens than the other one. I did also test this out with HyperSmooth on just to see if the footage would look better. And the footage still had the wobble to it. And that's not the fault of the anamorphic lens. That's simply that HyperSmooth is not programmed to understand how to read anamorphic footage. HyperSmooth is accustomed to reading that 16x9, 4x3, or 8x7 resolution, in the case of the Hero 11. But HyperSmooth does not know how to read the anamorphic footage, so the clips that you film with that, you'll notice quite a bit of wobble. It's going to especially be in any of the four corners and the sides. The center will still look pretty good, but the wobble is definitely going to be present there. So keep that in mind. Like I said, in my best settings video for anamorphic lenses, I do talk about that and why you generally don't want to use HyperSmooth just because of that distortion. Using this with a gimbal, it does look better. So let's take a look at a few sample clips I filmed so you can see the color and clarity and how this footage looks. Overall, this Niwer anamorphic lens is my favorite anamorphic lens for GoPro cameras presently. And just keep in mind, this anamorphic lens does work with the Hero 9, 10, and 11, but it is not compatible with any older GoPros. So if you are in the market for an anamorphic lens, I definitely recommend checking out the Niwer anamorphic lens. Until we talk again, happy GoProing.